G'day guys, Moose here. Now these five minute safety video hits are strictly safety only. It's to keep you out of trouble and you don't chop off something that we can't grow back. If you want to check out my more comprehensive videos, go to the playlist. That's where we chat about the gear we use, your initial purchase, budgets, what to look out for. We do obviously do the safety stuff, but also I like to add in some of the hot tips I've learned along the way. We chat about maintenance too, and a few other things. So they're the comprehensive ones you go to. This is strictly safety only. I want to keep you out of harm's way, and I want you guys to be nice and safe and confident. All right, let's go. Sawdust and chrome. Sawdust and chrome. Everybody loves. Sawdust and chrome. <laughs> <laughs> like always, your safety is a big priority for me. So I want to give you a few tips to keep you out of harm's way. I want you to be able to count to 10 for the rest of your life. So let's go. Number one is always your PPE. Earmuffs and glasses. Make sure you wear them for everything. Hot tip number two is to do with the chuck and the chuck bit. So when you put your drill bits in, Tighten it up by hand. In the chuck, there's three self-centering jaws kind of come down. As you tighten it, sometimes the kids will put the drill bit in between two, not the three. And if I've got it nice and tight by hand and I spin it and it looks okay, I've done a good job. Please make sure you tweak it, tighten it up. And please don't ever leave the chuck key in the chuck, even when you're done. I can't imagine the damage to the machine, and more importantly to yourself. So nice and tight, chuck keys out of the way. I'll take you across and we'll have a look at the keyless chucks you can get. All right, a keyless chuck. So how it works is you basically hang on to the top you twist this to get your jaws up and down. So let's get the drill bit in. So that's nice and tight by hand. Then you tweak these against each other. And that's it, they grab nice and tight. Hot tip number three is know where you're on, you're off, and most important, your isolation switch is. So, if you get in trouble at all, Please make sure you know how to get out of trouble. Safety tip number four, and I probably haven't had to worry about it since I was in year nine, is long hair. Please, long hair, loose clothing, jewellery, bracelets, anything potentially that could get caught in the chuck has to be sorted out. Whether it's hats, hairnets, beanies, do your collars up, um, please be careful. Safety tip number five, don't be lazy. This one catches people out. Depending on what you're working on and what you're drilling, you need to have it clamped down. So whether it's some of these um, F clamps, could be G clamps if you're in metalwork, uh, machine vices, this is our lightweight woodwork one versus heavy duty uh, metalwork one. This one weighs a ton, but Metalwork in particular, if it goes wrong in metalwork, it, it, it does damage. Um, depending on our projects, we've made our own clamps up to help us get out of trouble and to keep our students safe. One of the upgrades to this was actually the fence at the back. It can be undone, moved around, and depending on what we're working on, super handy as well. So. There's so much power in these motors that if, if something lets go, you get caught out real quick. Before you know it, you, you're in trouble. So please make sure, depending on what you're working on, it's clamped up and it's gonna be safe for you. Safety tip number six. And I've been caught out doing this because I've been lazy, but make sure your drill bits, whatever you're using, 
whether it's metal work, woodwork, the Forstner bits, um, normal twist drills, that they're sharp. Sharper the better. When you're working with blunt tools, that's when you get caught out and that's when you get hurt. So, sharp bits. Safety tip seven is to do with the speeds that you run the drill at. So, basically, a metal work, it should be slower because you're drilling through serious pieces of metal. Some of the gauge might be quite thick. But basically, metal work slower. The bigger the drill bit, you should slow it down as well versus a small drill bit. In woodwork, there's a little bit more leniency. So, kind of same principle. If you're doing like kind of softer timbers, plywoods versus the hardwoods, exactly the same. If I'm trying to go through a big Forstner bit versus a little one, bigger the bit, the slower it has to go as well. So, speeds, adjust them accordingly. Now my last safety tip, I'd argue is the most important, and it's always the last safety tip for everything. So quite with it, I don't feel 100%, I'm not concentrating, don't do it. If, you're, if, you're the, if your gut's saying, I don't think I've clamped that hard enough, I don't think that fence is gonna work, I don't think this is a good idea, please stop. So your gut instincts is, are always spot on. Um, if it's late in the day, sometimes I'll stay off the power tools. If I'm not feeling 100% because I'm crook, I'll stay off the power tools. Um, Trust your gut instinct to keep you out of trouble. I think that's about it. Oh, I would hate, I wouldn't wish it upon anyone, touch wood, that you injure yourself somehow and it's just something you have to explain for the rest of your life. And it's not a cool story. We only want good stories. <laughs>